Hello third graders. It's Friday, May 15th. Fabulous Friday. Let's look at today's agenda and I hope you can get your work done quickly so that you can start your weekend earlier. Okay, today your Zoom schedule. You have instrumental with um, Mr. Weber and Dr. Schultz, 10 to 10.15. And then our whole class will, will meet. I wanna shoot for about 11.30, okay, 11 to 11.30. We will um, go into our breakup ro breakout rooms to discuss your Padlet with your book club members. So please have someone assigned um, who was not assigned last week to share their Padlet so you can talk off the Padlet and we'll discuss certain questions during your book club conversation. So please be prepared with any notes that you took along the way and of course um, a tab that's open to your Epic screen so you can refer to different parts of the book. After 11.30, if anyone needs help from any of the assignments from this week, please stay on and we can review them because I do expect all the assignments to be completed um, and hopefully you have no work for the weekend to finish any assignments. Okay, and at 2.30, Ms. Sorensen will read a book to you at the library broadcast. Today for reading, on top of your you know book club talk, you're going to read um, The Wishing Tree. Okay, so you're going to click right here, which is this link. And we got this off of ReadWorks. Um, so it's not very long, but we want you to read it. It's about, it's three pages. So take a good close look. Um, if you want to print it, you can do that too. Sometimes printing is easier, so then you can underline and mark up your text to help you answer the questions. So. We're going to go to Seesaw to answer these questions. There's going to be five questions on Seesaw, and I'm going to show you that in just one bit. But when you're writing your questions, we expect you to use capitals, periods, sentences, good spelling, text evidence. So you might have to go back into the text. That's why I like if it's either you keep the tab open or you print it and then you have the text in front of you so you can actually lift the text evidence to help you with your answers. And remember, reread your work before you submit it. Make sure it's something that you feel um, is ready for me, to, for, for me to see. So let's go into our activities. Okay, here it is. It's the wishing tree, okay? So there are recorded instructions here as well as written instructions here. But what I wanna do is click into here and notice the first question, it says one of five. What makes this story fantasy? So use your text box, write it in. How would you describe Noah? How is bravery shown in this story? What does Noah learn by the end of the story? And last, what is the name of the story? What can the reader learn? So really think about those questions. Now notice this is a how question, okay? Um, I always used that, um, I think it was Abigail we used to use as an um, example. We would have Abigail skip to go get the tissue and we said, how did she get the tissue? Well, she skipped over um, to the sink to get the tissue. And then the why question, why did Abigail go get the tissue? Well, Abigail went to get the tissue because she needed to blow her nose. So always think about those whys and that we usually use because, but look how we're using the word how here. So really go back into the text and how is bravery shown in the story? Okay, so that's gonna be in your seesaw for today and here's a glimpse of it. And just remember to follow these checks. Math, we have a fun activity with your math. We've done um, building air, paper airplanes. I think this is such an important skill that most kids lose um, with all the technology we have around us. So this is something that I would really like you to take advantage of. So you can first watch, this is about 11 videos. I think it's fascinating. It's John Collins, he's making paper airplanes. And I really think you'll love, especially the first two minutes of this video, because he builds a plane that actually um, 
wins a world record for the longest distance of a paper airplane. And I want you to see how far it goes. A football player actually um, takes his plane design and throws it. So it's really, really interesting. So take a peek. Um, hopefully you watch the whole video, but if you don't, I understand. But at three minutes, he shows you how to make a certain paper airplane. So this is something that you might want to pause and follow along and make for today. Because today, you're going to watch the video first. Then you're going to build this. I said um, it's a paper plane revisited because I think over a month ago, we gave you this web page right here to build air, um, an air, I can't even speak tonight, I'm sorry, paper airplanes. So um, you can either build a paper airplane from this video around three minutes or you can go to this link right here, and a lot of you are gonna probably recognize this, okay? You can decide which one you are going to make. Remember, you're looking at distance, okay? So you are going to choose two paper airplanes for today's activity that you will need to build in order to do our activity. Now, if you did this assignment over a month ago and you still have those airplanes, you can definitely still use those for this um, activity. So it's up to you, all right? But you do need two different type of paper airplanes. So here, let's look at our activity for today. All right, so the directions are here. It's called a paper plane throw activity. So students are going to create and decorate two paper airplanes. They will throw each other, each airplane five times and measure the distance each paper airplane travels. So here's your chart. This you can copy and paste into your slides. But notice this chart for plane, let's see if I go into present mode here. For plane number one, first throw, measure it. Second throw, measure it. We're just trying to get as many trials as possible to see what distance you can measure, okay? Plane number two, you're gonna do the same thing. Remember, you're having two different types of paper airplanes. Um, then you do have some questions here, okay? So after you make and put the data down for the distance, what was your longest throw? What was your shortest throw? How much longer was the longest throw than your shortest throw? And you're going to look through all of these questions and really reflect and think about your design of your paper airplane. Okay, so let's go back and look at this. Okay, so you're going to watch this video first. You can choose to make one of the airplanes he shows you at minute at three minutes, or you could just make two paper airplanes from this link, or if you have your paper airplanes that you made from months ago, you can use those as well. But here's the copy and paste option. I also give you the printout option. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to go back and fix that, so I'll check that out. But I will give you a print option of just the data for you to do. Okay, so have fun. And if somehow your meter stick template got totally destroyed, here's another PDF for you to reassemble your your meter stick okay so that's that's up to you hopefully your other one is still in good condition okay um, and you might want to make another one actually because it depends how far your paper airplane is going to go so if you have two meter sticks that might help you out a little bit if you want more of a math challenge today here you go social studies today we are analyzing an artifact so you're going to combine your knowledge of ancient Greece that you just learned from yesterday and primary sources to analyze an artifact now. Because now you should all know what a primary source is versus a secondary source. So an artifact we learned today in our Zoom, or yesterday in our Zoom, that it is a primary source. So what you will do, watch this 11 a minute video, Mrs. Mangan models how to analyze an artifact. She has an object and she goes through the whole sheet with you. So please watch it from the beginning to the end so you know what to do for today's assignment. Now we gave you a lot of choices today to complete the artifact analysis sheet. You can either edit with Cami, look in your social studies folder, I put the document in there. You can edit with Cami like Mrs. Mangan does in her video, or you can copy and paste 
the slides into your May eLearning slideshow. Or you can print, handwrite, take a picture, and then insert it into your sl slideshow. Or, we have four options for you, you can go to the Seesaw activity to do this. And I'll show you what that looks like. Your Seesaw activity looks like this, Analyze and Artifacts. There are directions written and also recorded from Ms. Mangan, and then we have a template here. So you do need to watch the video to make sure that you understand um, what to do here. So watch the 11 minute video, choose which way you would like to hand in your artifact analysis sheet, um, and there's four different ways for you. Okay, smart fact, there's something really interesting about this German astronomer, Kepler, so check it out, and then you can watch the NASA video to learn about Kepler and his out-of-this-world discoveries. Okay, so by the end of today, boys and girls, you are working with your book clubs. Most of you have are finishing your um, second book today. Okay, so talk about what book is next. Let me know so I can set up a Padlet. Please let me know by today because uh, about the book choice that you have. So this is time for you to really talk about that. Now, even though we're meeting as a book club, that doesn't mean that you can't arrange another time to meet with your book club to discuss things. So keep that in mind. All right, so today we'll, re we'll meet for about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so to, for our book club, maybe 15. You are going to read um, The Wishing Tree and answer the five questions that are on Seesaw. For math, you're going to watch the paper airplane video. Um, then you're going to go to the fold and fly, create at least two paper airplanes. You're going to measure your airplanes flying a distance and record the results five times each for each plane on your data sheets. You can copy or print however you want and put them in your e-learning slideshow for credit. Reflex is due today, boys and girls. So Hopefully most of you are almost at 100% fluency up to the 12 times table. Okay, so we're, we're, we're waiting for a few, few to just push yourselves to get through it because this is something you want to make sure that you're fluent in. Social studies. Watch the lesson that Mrs. Mangan does, Analyze and Artifacts. You, today you will analyze a gold artifact. So you're going to try your best to do all the analyze the analysis that Mrs. Mangan shows you how to fill out for an artifact. There's a lot of inferring. Record your thinking on the analysis sheet. Um, it's on your blog and it's in your social studies folder on, on Drive. Post your work to Seesaw activity, copy on slides, or edit with Cami, however you wish. Those are your choices for today. So boys and girls, I will see you at 11. You'll be at Instrumental at 10. And um, We'll touch base at 11 and we'll catch up before we run off to the weekend. Okay, enjoy your day. See you soon.